Hello, Grade 7 learners! How's your day today? Welcome to Science 7, Quarter 3, Week 1A Video Module. I am Sir Rainier Desus, your teacher guide for this week's module with the title Describing Motion, Distance, and Displacement. Before we proceed to our video module, I would like to invite you grade 7 learners to like and share my YouTube science video modules found here in my YouTube channel, Rainier Desus TV. Please subscribe to my channel and watch quality science video modules. Thank you. Here are the most essential learning competencies for Science 7 Quarter 3 Week 1A video module. Describe the motion of an object in terms of distance or displacement speed or velocity, and acceleration, S7FE-3A-1. One, set a conducive learning space at home so you can focus on your studies. Two, take your time to read the lessons carefully. Three, answer all the given tests and activities intelligently within the given allotted time. Four, Follow the directions in the activities. 5. If needed, ask assistance from your parents or guardians to guide you in doing the activities. 6. Take down important concepts and least questions you would like to ask for your teacher. And 7. Reflect and apply the concepts you have learned. Here are the expectations and outcomes. 1. Describe motion as a change in position. 2. Define distance and displacement. 3. Measure the total distance and displacement covered by a body. And four, value the importance of reference point and perspective in describing objects in motion. On this part, please prepare your pen and paper to answer this 10-item pretest. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Are you ready? 1. Social distancing is one of the ways to prevent the spread of COVID-19. What is the minimum distance prescribed to practice social distancing? A. 0.25 meters B. 0.5 meter C. 0.75 meter D. 1 meter 2. What do you call the continuous change in position of a body relative to a reference point, as measured by a particular observer in a particular frame of reference? A. Energy B. Force C. Mass D. Motion 3. How do you describe an object that is in motion? A. It changes position B. Its speed is zero C. It is in the state of rest D. It is traveling in a constant speed 4. Which of the following quantities shows a vector quantity? A. 15 meters B. 25 meters C. 5 meters north D. 20 meters 5. Which of the following quantities is a scalar quantity? A. Distance B. Displacement C. Velocity D. Acceleration 6. Which type of quantity is characterized by both magnitude and direction? A. Scalar B. Vector C. Physical D. Speed For numbers 7 and 8, Analyze the figure below. 7. Which of the following statements is true about the illustration? 1. The green arrow is the distance. 2. The green arrow is the displacement. 3. The red arrows are shorter in sum compared to the green arrow. 4. The green arrow is shorter compared to the sum of the red arrows. A. 1 and 2 B. 3 and 4 C. 1 and 3 D. 2 and 4 8. Which path will you take to reach your home quickly coming from school? A. Red path B. Green path C. Both paths will have the same time D. Neither path will reach home 9. Distance is a scalar quantity Scalar are quantities with only magnitude or size which of the following is not an example of a scalar quantity? A. Displacement B. Length C. Temperature D. Time 10. Which term pertains to the total length traveled or covered by the moving body? 
A. Distance B. Displacement C. Speed D. Velocity Answer the same pre-test questions on this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on the description area of this video module. In grade 6, you learn how friction and gravity affect the motion of an object. Let's see if you still remember some of the topics about friction and before we proceed to the more exciting topics about motion. A. Identify the type of friction. Choose your answer from the box and write your answer on the space provided under each picture. These are the following group of words to be chosen. Rolling friction, sliding friction, static friction, fluid friction. B. Identify the type of simple machine on each picture. You can choose your answer from the clue words below. These are the clue words. Lever, screw, inclined plane, wheel and axle, wedge, and pulley. Answer the same retrospect questions in this Google form to know your score. Visit the link below found on this video module. Many things around us move. The leaves of trees, the waves in the ocean, the air that surrounds us, the animals, machines and vehicles, and even our planet Earth is moving. But how can we say that something has moved or something is in motion? This video module will help you understand the basic concept of the motion of an object. Motion Motion is described as a continuous change in position of a body relative to a reference point as measured by a particular observer in a particular frame of reference. Motion is defined as a change in position over an interval of time. The motion of an object can be described in several ways like describing the position of an object with respect to its reference point, describing through diagrams and visuals, through tables and graphs. Describing the distance and displacement of an object will also prove that an object has moved. One way of knowing whether an object is moving or not is by comparing it with another object that stays in place or not moving at all. This will be your reference point. An object is said to be moving when it is traveling towards or away from a reference. Analyze this. Which object do you think is in motion? Is it the basketball ring or the ball? Which will serve as the reference point? In this image, we can infer that the ball is in motion with respect to the basketball ring. The ball is falling while the basketball ring stays still. Distance and Displacement An object which moves, changes its position, and travels a certain distance or has been displaced from its original position as the reference. Distance and displacement are both used to describe if an object has moved. Distance is the total length of path traveled by an object. It is a scalar quantity. It has only magnitude or size. Other examples of scalar quantities are time, mass, and temperature. Displacement is the straight line distance between the initial and final position. It is the change in position of an object or how far the object is from its starting position. Displacement is a vector quantity. It has both magnitude and direction. Acceleration, force, and momentum are examples of vector quantities. Distance and displacement are two quantities that are usually interchanged. They both seem to mean the same thing, but they are actually very different from each other. Grade 7 learners, to further compare distance and displacement, kindly refer to the table below. Grade 7, let's move to the brain exemplar. Learning competencies, define distance and displacement operationally, S7FE-3A-1.5. Letter A, study the illustration. 
Describe the position of the object being asked. Here are the guide questions. 1. What is the position of the monkey with respect to the tree? 2. What is the position of the pig with respect to the tree? 3. What is the position of the rabbit with respect to the pig? 4. What is the position of the frog with respect to the tree? 5. What is the position of the cow with respect to the monkey? Letter B. Describe the position of an object in relation to the time of its travel. Here are the guide questions. 1. Did the car move based on the given illustration? 2. What is the initial position of the car? 3. What is the final position of the car? 4. At what time did the car reach 40 meters? 5. What is the position of the car at 25 seconds? From this time, let's move to the brain gauge. Learning competencies. Define distance and displacement operationally. 1. It is a change in position with respect to a reference point. N-O-I-T-O-M 2. It is a description of how objects move. E-M-K-T-C-I-S-N-A 3. It deals how many and why objects move. D-M-Y-A-N-I-S-C 4. It is a quantity that includes a number and a unit only and described by magnitude alone. C-L-A-R-A-S 5. It is a quantity described by both magnitude and direction. O-R-T-E-V-C 6. It is a change in the position of an object from its starting point. S-D-I-E-N-T-M-P-A-L-C-E 7. It pertains to the total length traveled by an object. N-C-E-D-S-I-T-A 8. It is defined as the starting point for measuring motion. C-E-E-R-F-E-E-R-N-N-O-T-I-P 9. It is the basic unit of distance and displacement. T-E-M-E-R 10. It is a location that must always be specified from a reference point. S-P-O-O-N-I-T-I Answer the same brain gauge questions in this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on the description area of this video module. At this point, grade 7, let's move to the benchmark. Learning competencies. Define distance and displacement operationally. Instructions. Write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is incorrect. 1. Distance can be equal to displacement. 2. Displacement can be greater than distance. 3. Distance. Refer to the length of the entire path traveled by an object. 4. The point of reference is the basis for locating the position of an object. 5. Displacement refers to the shortest distance between the object's two positions like the distance between the point of origin and its point of destination. Answer the same benchmark questions in this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on the description area. Grade 7, this is the assimilation part of this video module. Kinematics is the description of how objects are moving. Motion is defined as a change in position for a particular time interval. Distance refers to the total length of path traveled by an object which can be expressed in meter, kilometer, miles, and other units of length. Displacement refers to the shortest distance between the object's two position, like the distance between its point of origin and its point of destination, no matter what path it took to get that destination. The distance an object moves and the distance displacement are not always the same. Grade 7, let me discuss to you these values on point. Aside from wearing face shields and face masks, and frequent hand washing, practicing social distancing is said to be one of the most effective ways to avoid the spread of COVID-19. A distance of 1 meter or more must be observed especially in public places such as supermarkets and other establishments. 
this is considered a safe distance since the virus may be transmitted through direct contact according to studies. Please prepare your pen and pencil for this post-test. Answer this 10-item quiz. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. 1. Staying at home is the best way to distance oneself to others and to lessen the risk of exposure to COVID-19, but it is inevitable to go outside especially in buying one's essential needs. Which of the following is not a good practice when going outside the house during this pandemic period? A. Washing and sanitizing hands frequently. B. Practicing and observing social distancing. C. Wearing face mask and face shield properly. D. Attending birthday parties and other social gatherings. 2. Displacement is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude and direction. Which of the following quantities is not a vector? A. 3 newtons down. B. 4 meters per second west. C. 5 kilograms meter per second left. D. 6 meters. 3. Which of the following refers to the basis for describing the position of an object? A. Distance B. Displacement C. Point of reference D. Velocity 4. Which of the following is not true about distance and displacement? A. Distance can be greater than displacement B. Distance can be equal to displacement C. Displacement can be greater than distance D. Displacement can be equal to zero 5. Which type of quantity is characterized by magnitude only? A. Scalar B. Vector C. Physical D. Speed 6. Which type of quantity is characterized by both magnitude and direction? A. Scalar B. Vector C. Physical D. Speed 7. What is an object's distance and direction from a reference point? A. Distance B. Displacement C. Position D. Direction 8. Which of the following illustrates scalar quantity? A. 15 meters east B. 15 meters west C. 15 meters D. 15 meters north 9. Which of the following illustrates vector quantity? A. 5 meters east B. 5 meters C. 15 meters D. 25 meters 10. From its original position, point A, the ball was pushed and rolled in its new location, point B. Which of the following statements about its distance and displacement in terms of its size is true? A. The distance covered by the ball and its displacement are equal. B. The distance covered by the ball is longer than its displacement. C. The displacement of the ball is shorter than its covered distance. D. There is no displacement nor distance covered by the ball. Answer the same post-test questions in this Google form to know your score. Visit the link below found on this video module. Congratulations Grade 7 learners! You have completed this Quarter 3 Week 1A video module. By that, you have earned a Science 7 Quarter 3 Cup. Now you have unlocked the next video module. I hope to see you again in the next video module. Again, this is Sir Rainier, your teacher guide for this video module. Thank you and God bless us all.